Baron is linking. He has linked, and here you find us once again with a just spectacular, spectacular shot created by Manu. Well done, Manu. He spotted it. He said, I think we should do this. And I said, well, that, that, okay. And uh, here we are. A breeding herd of zebra that has come... Um, it hasn't come across the river actually we're not far from where they were thinking about crossing but I don't think it's come across so it's come out of the croton thickets heading on to the plains perhaps just before it gets too dark and I took a picture of that tree that you can see there last year just as the sun went down behind it and it's uh, one of my favorites it's not very good but it's one of my favorites it's a rather iconic sort of African tree it's one of the Balanites trees And if you listen carefully, you might be able to hear them going wah, 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 wah. It sounds like I say but halfway between a squeaky wheel and a braying donkey is what these animals sound like and Louise was saying she wonders how many times that tree was being has been photographed I was thinking precisely the same thing a few weeks ago and I imagine it is countless times Hello, Umkar, you say this is awesome. Well, I think it's rather awesome too. And it's, uh, I guess, one uses the term iconic almost as frequently as one used to use the term epic to describe a good sighting. But it really is a kind of quintessential iconic African shot, that, isn't it? Vast open grassland zebra and the rays from heaven coming down through the clouds to spotlight the wilderness. Very lovely indeed. And again, I think it's probably something to do with the fact that we're close to the equator. I don't know this for sure. But the fact that we get those rays just about all the day, you know, it's not only at night. We know, obviously get them in South Africa at night time or close to the evening. But round about now, I suppose we're getting into the evening, but you'll find these things going seemingly for much longer than they would, or f yeah, f from much earlier than they would at higher latitudes, I found. Masinak, you say, when is the zebra breeding season? Um, I've seen a number that are very pregnant right now, but a number that are most certainly not in a number of youngsters. So I'm going to say, while there is probably a peak in uh, various parts of this area, I'm going to say they're probably largely a-seasonal breeders, so you'll probably find that there is some kind of a peak. I don't know when it is. You know, these we've just come to the end of the long rains now, so perhaps it's a few months ago. But it, perhaps also there's a, a slight peak during the, you know, at the same time that the wildebeest are breeding down the southern plains. I'll look that up for you, but I don't think it's quite as, as uh, synchronized as the wildebeest are here, or the impala are, for example, in South Africa. In South Africa, They'll have a peak during the summertime, uh, but it's not, it's really not that synchronized. Very lovely. And then we just, before we move on from here, we've got some very, what I consider to be the most polite members of the migration. And they, of course, are the Thompson's gazelles. And we've got a number of them just very quietly going about their business, picking up a little piece of food here and there, eating quietly with their mouths closed, not saying boo to a goose, and very, very politely the youngsters just lie down when we come past because, of course, they don't want to disturb us. There you can see them just wagging their tails humbly from side to side. <laughs> it just always strikes me that they are the gentlest members of the migration. The zebra is very brash in their braying and yakking away at each other all the time. The zebra, as we know, the gnus are gnuing non-stop. And these chaps, well, they don't say anything. They just very gently get on with their lives. All righty, we're going to go under those rays, see if we can refind our lines, and then probably settle in until they get up. While we do that, I believe that Taylor, look at that thing shouting there. Uh, that thing is shouting and telling you that Taylor is about to arrive, apparently, 
as the water 